speaking of racists, uh, Tony Abbott's the uh, leader of the Liberal Party. And uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you guys remember when Tony Abbott became the leader of the Liberal Party, he announced his new front bench, right? These were like his top picks. And uh, Tony Abbott's new front bench included people like uh, Bronwyn Bishop, who said that uh, Muslim women who wear a headscarf are like Nazis in Nazi Germany. Uh, Kevin Andrews, who said we shouldn't let any more Africans into Australia. Uh, Philip Ruddock whose crimes against humanity are too long to list here. <laughs> and uh, people, people were so angry, people were so upset and so angry and outraged. How could Tony Abbott do this? How could Tony Abbott pick these people? And I was like, what you, what's your problem? These are exactly the people I would pick. These are exactly the people I would choose. If I was assembling uh, a lynch mob, <laughs> these are exactly the people I would choose. The best qualified racists that I could find. <laughs> you, heard about, uh, you heard about Tony Abbott's position on indigenous employment? Did you hear what he said? He said, Aboriginal people have to work. Aboriginal people must work, even if it means picking up rubbish. He's all about closing the gap, Tony. He's all about closing the gap. <laughs> the gap between the Liberal Party and the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> and uh, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't, really have, I don't really have anything against the Liberal Party. I think at election time, Racist people should have someone to vote for. And, uh, and Australia is such a lucky country. If you're a racist, you can choose from two parties. The Labour Party or the Liberal Party. And, uh, and again, you know what? I don't mind if you vote Labour. I don't judge people. Uh, if you think that's a responsible adult decision at this stage in your life, go ahead, go for your life. But, uh, but I don't mind if people vote for the Labour Party. What I do hate is when people vote Labour and then a week or a month later, they're shocked and disappointed with the Labour Party when the Labour Party does something racist. Oh, look at Julie Gillard. Look what she's doing to the refugees. I'm so shocked and disappointed. What planet are you from, man? What Labour Party are you talking about? Because I'm talking about the Labour Party that, like, invented mandatory detention, the Labour Party that shut the hell up the whole time we lived under Howard, the Labour Party that's uh, enforcing, you know, this apartheid in the Northern Territory. How can you be upset? How can you be shocked and disappointed with them? with that track record. How? Are you the guy that comes out of Return of the Jedi, <laughs> shocked and disappointed with Darth Vader because he built a second Death Star? <laughs> I'm just so shocked and disappointed with Darth Vader. I just didn't expect the Dark Lord of the Sith to build a second space station of doom. <laughs> now I realize that's a limited capacity joke. Uh... <laughs> only appeals to people who hate the Labour Party, hate the Liberal Party, and love Star Wars. I realize that, so...